Uh, uh, it's the same one, IDG. It's probably the same article I'm thinking about. But they say that as an office, uh, office-oriented office machine, it's a very poor one, too. Do the... Uh, yeah, is it so by no, Cringely? This wasn't the one I'm talking about. No, it's, um, right. it's by uh, Caitlin McG- uh, McGarry. Oh, okay. Um, but no, this wasn't the article I was looking for. Anyway. They're very consistent. Say, yeah. Suffice to say, it wasn't... Um, Particularly, but there was an article recently that I can't find. I wish I'd been more prepared. I'll have to link this either in the show notes or we'll do it cover it next show. But somebody, uh, somebody's blog, they actually went to one of the stores around the, the launch date of the Surface and described the experience. Um, and they had a little fun with the Microsoft salesperson who uh, obviously was very keen on making their commission for that particular sale. So they had a bit of fun playing the I don't know anything computer user. Uh, but I'll have to find that because it was quite, it did give me quite a giggle. Yeah, can do it in the next show as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the surface. Uh, Steve Balmer stands behind it and says the sales are going to ramp up. Um, I think that was the ter- the going to. Yeah. Uh, we'll did he say? Did he like? You know, it's easy to say. Yeah. yeah, he said. Quote. Well, here we are. Right. I expect the volumes on Win. Oh no, I beg your pardon. That was on Windows Phone. Sorry. Yeah. Windows Phone. So it's, it's talking about Windows Phone eight years. Is it from two thousand and nine? The article. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 the, the surface now, it may well have a, a niche market somewhere. Um, I'm quite sure Balmer and his family have one. Um, that's what's probably sold us out in the initial... Uh, in the initial oh, sp- they forced all of the Microsoft employees to receive one, didn't they? About 70,000 of them. Was that all the phone? Microsoft employees, yes. Uh, yeah, I remember, I remember something about that before when the 7 came out. 7, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Mr. Dunlop yeah, allegedly... And Dell, yes, and then Dell signed some sort of a deal. And it's all just promotional. It's just So they can say, oh, on the first day we sold 100,000 of them. Because allegedly like, we forced many people yeah. to receive them. <laughs> Well, allegedly at the time, didn't Mr. Balmer have a wobbly because somebody had an iPhone and it's one of his um, motivational speeches. Yeah, and uh, jumped yeah. on it, but somebody yeah, was... <laughs> the video. Apparently they realised, uh-oh, you know, they're going to figure out which employee it was. You know. well, sticking on the subject of phones, it's a little little out of date news because I think this has been going over the last few weeks, but um, have we got any opinions on the Apple, Samsung and uh, well, the court several- ruling? Yeah, so in the United States, there's been a uh, verdict, and there was a bit of a trial misconduct, apparently, with one of the foremen and the jury, so he was a, a bit of a, an Apple fanboy infiltrating the jury, and they didn't actually do what they were supposed to do, they just kind of threw the verdict, you know, ahead of time, they didn't even go through the questions, through the text, like, they were just being very lazy and throwing out the decision, and which makes it very easy for Samsung to appeal the decision, which ended up with a... Uh, with uh, an initial, at least, uh, a claim that they are supposed to pay compensation of about a billion dollars for, you know, round corners and all kinds of nonsense like that. And Samsung was issued a very shrewdly, uh, you know, crafted type statement about it. That something about the round, you know, the round corners and a rectangle type mm. thing. And what it's actually the stuff Apple sued over. And uh, that's the United States. So there will be there is actually an appeal. There is. Uh, is going to be a discussion about what was happening the first time and why they weren't actually examining the prior art which was presented by Samsung to show that the iPhone was not at all, you know, first of its kind and the same thing goes for tablets. So they had lots of evidence to show that. And it's true. Yeah. That, you know, they weren't the first, at least, at least the things Apple claims to be their innovations, uh, as per, you know, the patents they list, they, you, they can prove Systematically, this is not yours. This is not yours. This is, you know, all of those things are just, you know, things you claim credit for, even though you don't deserve credit for it. And then in the United Kingdom, it was more interesting because uh, Apple was kind of completely humiliated uh, uh, to the point where it had to apologize publicly on the site to Samsung. And I've written six posts about it so far, blog posts about it, because Apple keeps, you know, trying to see how little it can get away with. And each time it, it fails to impress the judges, everybody gets so furious that instead of just, you know, the, the British people seeing the apology, the whole world is getting absolutely furious at Apple for being so vain and being unable to apologize, like the judge asked to, asked him to. And so the most recent uh, development is Apple finally put the apology on the website, you know, to try and satisfy the judges, but they wrote very, very blatantly, they wrote HTML, uh, HTML JavaScript code, 
to to always ensure the text is out of sight. You have to scroll down to find it. Mm-hmm. And it's very easy to see. You just look at the source of the page and you say, oh, that's that's a very nasty thing. So, yeah, and Apple also uh, wrote some apologies in a newspaper and stuff, but that's not what the judge asked for. So it's 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 been it's been quite funny, and Apple hasn't been getting very good publicity. It also lost the case in Mexico over the iPhone trademark. So somebody has got iPhone with I F O N uh, as the name of the company, and they lost it. And because it was so aggressive to begin with with the trademarks, now the iPhone trademark is always kind of in a dubious state, at least in Mexico. So yeah, that's that's the story with uh, Apple and Samsung. And and by the way, Samsung sells. Uh, outsells Apple's phones by a factor of two to one, so uh, that tells you quite a lot that Samsung sells twice as many phones as Apple does now. Well, another quick little article here. This is again probably just a few seconds of time, but it's a wonderful from a, nearly a month ago now. It's uh, Bing is the most heavily poisoned, heavily poisoned search engine study says it's from Sophos Labs, and it's claiming I think 92 percent of dodgy redirects there was on mine. Um, blocked by Sophos related to image searches. So, uh, does anybody still use Bing? Is that still going? I didn't know. Uh... Um, I have to admit, I, I, I'm not so happy with the fact that uh, Start Page and IX Quick, which is a uh, which is a privacy um, respecting search engine, when you go there to images, uh, a person in the IRC channel, Demon FC, Ryan, pointed out to me that it's actually using Bing to bring me the images so if I click there in images I can actually see something in the URL suggesting it comes from Microsoft. So what you're saying then Roy is sort of out of all the five people in the world that use Bing you're one of them? No, I think the... <laughs> uh, well actually I think... <laughs> one thing I will say, I was thinking about it a few days ago notice the fact there is barely any mention of Bing in the press. Uh, if it was still growing at any pace Microsoft will make, would have made some noise, would have said something about growth, but there is, it's completely depressed. It's still there, you know, some people might be using it. You know, Microsoft has got to have something for the Microsoft employees to use because it's embarrassing if they use Google. But it seems like very few people use it, and they did try some dirty tricks, and they get knocked down for it, and, and people, you know, move away from, from this Bing thing anyway. And even Bing Map is not being used by much, and occasionally you see it being used by you know, it's it's just a niche market, and and I think the the amount and the, the important thing is you have to remember, they last time I checked they were losing something of the order of like you know seven seven hundred million dollars or something online services because the cost of just operating those data centers and doing the indexing and everything is very high, mm-hmm. and unless they manage to get like a certain market share of say twenty thirty percent. They're just going to be running at a loss, you know. They still want to have their search engine, but how long can they go on for? You know, the investors will just say, you know, it's more expensive to op- to provide a service than to, you know, then you just well, don't manage to 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 make. I mean, what, what I'd say, uh, firstly, for the purposes of the Microsoft advocates who will uh, in use that, who will try to suggest that uh, myself uh, or even Roy, I'll probably push the blame onto you as well, here that uh, suggested that only five people in the world use Bing. I will stress that was just a joke. It's probably about two. But moving on from that, if you look at the, if you look at the actual pe- people that do use Bing, most of them are you are using it without their knowledge. I mean, for example, you found out. I realised that the DuckDuckGo um, has a connection with, uh, mm-hmm. with Bing, and that wasn't immediately obvious. Whether people have a problem with that. Uh, or not, so that's uh, that's no concern of mine. If people use DuckDuckGo, that's I've got no issue against that. But there's quite a few little covert um, usages of Bing that probably a lot of people mm. myself have yeah, as well. Yeah, at least in the states. Yeah, uh, and yeah. this is one of the issues that I had with and Canonical. And remember, Canonical actually dropped Mono and dropped the idea of trying to use Yahoo by default in Firefox, which also happens to have a deal with Google, so it's a problematic thing. Canonical usually, without admitting so, kind of responds to the public outrage and removes the, you know, malicious features that it tries to introduce for, you know, for money. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I so, think fa- Facebook obviously uh, has a connection with Bing as well. Um, well, also with Silverlight and yeah. XML and who knows what. But, so. I mean, uh, just just sort of relating this back to the first top discussion we had in regards to Canonical and and. Um, and Amazon. I've got no problem with any of these relationships as long as it's open and revealed to you from the outset. 
what I don't like and what does particularly get under my skin and stop me from using the product is finding out by chance later on. If people are opening the first place and say, hey, this is our service, you can use it, but this is what we do, then I can make a decision at the time and if I, if I like the service, I will use it. But, uh, to find